Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. So, Bounding Into Comics just released another leak that's on Twitter about the rise of Skywalker. So, take it with a grain of sand about the ending. And, basically, I'm going to give a small little synopsis of how it goes down. Spoilers ahead, if this turns out to be true. I'm sorry. But, I'm going to also tell you why I don't think it's true. Now, here's the thing, folks. It basically goes over that battle between Palpatine and Rey and a redeemed Kylo Ren and how they're coming into, or they're battling in through a room, throne room. Kylo has his blue lightsaber. That's leaked. Now, Kylo ends up having to kill all the Knights of Ren, and Rey is facing off against Palpatine, then Kylo joins her, and Ben gets killed, and falls down a pit. And then there, or Rey takes up Ben's blue lightsaber, and does what no one else has been able to do, except in Legends, which is kill Palpatine. She ends up doing what Luke, Yoda, and many others have not been able to do. Why? Because she's a Mary Sue. And then she goes to Tatooine, and a local asks her name, and it says, or she basically says, I'm Rey, Rey Skywalker. Now, it's already been confirmed that she is not a Skywalker, according to sources within Bounding Into Comics and other sources. And if she takes Skywalker's name, that will be the ultimate insult. I'm sorry, that's my opinion, folks. I do not like the way Disney has handled Star Wars. I do not like how they have disrespected George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars. And to all the blind fans out there, if, you know what? If you like Star Wars from Disney, I have no problem with you. You are allowed to like whatever you like. I'm st I'll still be, fr or I'm still friends with people who like Star Wars simply because of Star Wars. And they're still friends with me. But like I said, some of them are blind fans, and some of them will basically like anything that has the Star Wars label on it simply because it's Star Wars. Like I said before, one time in a post, I think I said it in a post, yeah, not in a video, I could literally take a piss in a jar, smack a damn Star Wars logo on it, and basically tell them I got it from someplace down at Disney World or something, saying it's freaking jar, or it's a jar of piss from a bantha. And they would probably believe it. There are some stupid people out there. Now, I'm not saying all blind Star Wars fans are stupid. But this leak with the ending, uh, saying that Rey is a Skywalker and all that stuff. You know what? Some of it actually does make sense because that's what Disney does. They like to screw around with people and they like to disrespect fans who have been fans for 40 years plus. Me, 30 years plus. And others who have been fans since the 80s and 77. They have been basically saying this trilogy is not meant for you. It's a new era. Yeah, you're killing off all the old guy or all the older cast to bump up a new cast that nobody embraced. But here's why I do not think this is real. Because first off, it's too freaking fantastical. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But the way they described it is just, it's too fantastical. She get or Ray gets hit with, or Kylo Ren gets hit with force lightning and falls down a pit and dies. Okay. Ray, how does Ray survive an onslaught of force lightning, especially from 
the Earth Darth Sidious. I mean, that guy can throw out huge torrents of Force Lightning. He showed it within uh, Episode 3. I'm sorry, folks. Yes, I know that Rey is probably going to kill Palpatine. That's obvious. The only person who actually did defeat Palpatine was Darth Vader, and that is when he became or redeemed himself as Anakin Skywalker and caught Palpatine by surprise, but it also cost him his life. I, I'm i sorry, folks. I'm just not buying into this leak, but if it does turn out to be true, so be it. Anywho, that's my thoughts on this little leaked ending. I also hear they got seven other endings that they have tried and screwed around with and whatnot. And nobody liked. But yeah, you all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this stupid-ass ending. And this has been Orange Hat Reviews. I'll catch you all on the next one. And I wish you all a happy Halloween.